Thank you, Dr. Musarino, and good evening. Mrs. Winchell, members of the faculty and staff, parents, family, friends, and members of the class of 2012. I always think that occasions like these call for at least a moment's reflection on what it was like when all this started way back in the last century when you first burst forth onto this mortal coil in 1994, maybe in 93, maybe in 95, but mostly 94s, when you began the time of your lives. If you were born on January 17th, you showed up the same day as the Northridge earthquake, 6.7 on the Richter scale. It left 72 dead. And if you were born 18 years ago this week on June 17th, well, on June 17th, in a white Bronco driven by his friend A.C. Collins, <laughs> O.J. Simpson led law enforcement on a low-speed chase, essentially from El Toro to, to Hollywood. The big free television networks and CNN as well as all the local news outlets interrupted all regular programming while 95 million viewers nationwide looked on. NBC anchorman Tom Brokaw covered the chase. Chase was also covered by ABC News anchors Peter Jennings and Barbara Walters. And ABC achieved some of their highest ever ratings that week. Domino's Pizza later reported record sales of pizza delivery during the televised chance. <laughs> the year you were born. Also that year the DVD was born. The first conference devoted entirely to the subject of the commercial potential of the World Wide Web opened. I think it was kind of the birth of Amazon, eBay, PayPal and the like. The first version of Netscape Navigator was released in 94. Those are just some of the things that happened in 94. More importantly in 94, things were different. World population was 5.6 billion. Today, 7.1. In 1994, a text message was written on a piece of paper. <laughs> And phones were only for talking to someone, and none of them were smart. <laughs> and you didn't download music. You bought CDs at a record store, but you... In 1994, there was no Facebook. You know, Ralph Waldo Emerson once asked what we would do if the stars only came out once every thousand years. Well, no one would sleep that night, of course. We'd be ecstatic, delirious, made rapturous by the glory of God. Instead, the stars come out every night, and 901 million earthlings go on Facebook. In 1994, there was no YouTube. People and cats still behave stupidly and unusually, but they did it in private, as it should be. <laughs> In 1994, only birds tweeted, <laughs> and it was generally dogs that yelped. And in 1994, no one Googled anything. I, I don't think I can imagine life without Google and Yelp. I do remember that most of us still seem fairly happy and productive, and the sun still shone brightly. But mostly, I guess, people sat around their caves waiting for someone to harness fire and invent the wheel. <laughs> Other thoughts wandered into my musings this past week or so as I was trying to figure out what to say to you. And one of them was inspired by this year's yearbook, which, of course, you can't help seeing, but the staff did an interesting thing. They took that old cliche, carpe diem, and they made it even more urgent. They made it carpe articulus, seize the moment. And it's actually pretty good advice. 